In a polarized world, the next installment of the franchise all about balance and non-attachment will be worshipped, hated, and obsessed over until it's not even fun to talk about anymore. This is not going to go the way you think. Nah, we know Star Wars fans by now. Star Wars The Last Jedi Forget the love letter to the originals that was The Force Awakens, because Episode 8 subverts everything you've come to expect, making it the worst one ever. Aw, who invited the original Honest Trailer voice back? Are you really gonna do the old ones are better slash new ones are better thing we did with The Force Awakens? The only way to talk about Star Wars now is in absolutes, so yes. Kinda sithy of you, but fine. Making Last Jedi a refreshing update to a predictable formula that spits in the face of everything you once loved. Whiner, traitor. Meet the new class of heroes coming into their own, like Rey, who after being called by Luke's lightsaber, is called by the Jedi text, called by a big wet hole, and called by her greatest frenemy. <sighs> yet still gets zero answers to any of her questions. I thought I'd find answers here. I was wrong. Poe, who grows from a hotshot sexy pilot to a treasonous failure with more blood on his hands than the Empire. First Order. Same difference. And Finn, who went from a deserter running away from the war to a deserter running away from the war. With the help of newcomer Rose, he'll learn to put the greater good above himself. Thanks to a pointless side quest to Casino Royale. Because how dare they spend 15 minutes connecting the action to a larger theme. The larger theme being, is it possible to miss pod racing? I didn't think so, but here we are. But forget about the butthurt fanboys who are just mad the movie isn't closer to the one they wrote in their heads. Hey! Because there's still all the old favorites like Leia, a battle-hardened general trying to keep the spark of hope alive. And she's in a coma. Chewbacca, who gets nothing to do. And Luke Skywalker, who after sad old Han and sad old Leia really drives home how your heroes are all sad and old now. He's turned his back on the franchise after watching the prequels. The legacy of the Jedi is failing. And not even reruns of A New Hope can change his mind. It was a cheap move. Because what Star Wars fans really needed was to see their idol throw his lightsaber away like it was some kind of joke. And Star Wars is not a joke to me. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about- Ryan Johnson ruined my childhood like he ruined the laws of space battle. There are no laws to space battle. There should be. Luke isn't the only Skywalker who has issues with the franchise. Kylo Ren is back, and he's demanding a full reboot. Let the past die. Kill it, if you have to. When he doesn't look like he's about to cry, which is always... <sighs> Watch as he ditches the Vader fanboy act, the Mighty Duck mask, and his shirt. Bams. Boo! Hey, you distracted me on purpose. Too late. Moving on. Get ready for truly unexpected answers to the puzzles of Episode 7. That can only be answered by asking, what are the most disappointing answers to the puzzles of Episode 7? Like who are Ray's parents? Nobody. Who is Snoke? Some dead guy. And how did Maz Kanata get Luke's lightsaber? It doesn't matter and you're stupid for asking. That after all the hours of speculation and analysis was genuinely Insulting. exhilarating. Whoa, how do we keep from a certain point of viewing each other? Yeah, we're both pretty big Star Wars nerds, huh? So gear up for the most divisive Star Wars film ever made. Where Ryan Johnson either doesn't understand the lore, or he made the first Star Wars movie that lives up to the values it preaches, instead of endorsing royal bloodlines and reckless aggression. Okay, enough division. Let's say our favorite things about it on the count of three. One, two, three. Rain Kylo, Kylo team, team up to fight, fight the Praetorian Guard. Hope Yoda, Yoda hitting Luke with a stick. stick. Porgs! Wait, really? Yeah, I'll own it. Okay, now, least favorite. Hold on, not telling anyone her plan. I get knocking Poe down a peg, but come on. They're taking shuttles to a fort. Why make everyone think they're gonna die? I can't argue with that, though I'm sure people will. Should we do this again for Solo? Nah. nah I'm not gonna see that crap. Starring. Half the Star Wars fan base. Salt. Blu-ray. Luke Teetmilker. Carrie Poppins. Finn the Human. I've been kissed by a rose on the brain. Kai so serious. 
Snope. Give me the carking keys, you carking nerf herder. Short round. Pew. Brienne of Dorth. Hucks to be you. <laughs> and redemption for Star Wars Kid. Star Wars, the last one you'll pay to see. Until the next one comes out. Maybe. It is time for my fandom to end. Did you hear JJ finish the script for episode 9? My fandom is back. Temporarily. Want more Star Wars stuff? Click the box on the left as we dive deeper into our serious questions for The Last Jedi. Or click the box on the right to watch us make FN218 play with puppies. What the cuss? Broccoli, my mortal enemy. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. The first Jedi Temple was in Staplehurst, Nebraska.